Hello everyone, Shaman Sin here, and today we're learning about the grep command. So, um, the grep command stands for the get regular expression. Uh, pretty much what this command allows us to do is to search through a bunch of text to see uh, if a particular expression exists in that text. So, for instance, last, um, last video we learned about the ls command. So we can do ls for the root, and we'll see... Uh, the files and folders. Now with grep, I can do ls, right? My same ls, pipe grep. And then let's say I wanted to know anything that began with s or had s in it. Now I can filter out the results. I can also do this by, uh, I can also filter out results in a file. So I have a file called testing in here. So let's say I wanted to know if the letter Y or anything that has that or anything in the letter Y, um, sorry. Uh, let's say I wanted to know if the letter Y exists in testing, uh, in the testing folder. So let's say um, the word many or any. I want to know if there's if there's any uh, instance of that. I can literally go grep. Okay. Y and then the file name testing and you'll see that Y does it exist and it exists in this uh, in these uh, like all this is is a bunch of gibberish here so that's why uh, you're getting this but Y does exist in these instances okay you can also do this uh, by looking at a log file. Like this is a really useful command when looking at logs. So let's go to over to the log directory, and uh, you can do cat auth log for instance. Okay. Okay. So now we got this big. Um, big file of text for all the uh, auth authentication um, requests for this server okay now I can let's say I wanted to know when the user Sean was used I can do the same cat auth.log pipe grep Sean and all the instances with Sean will show up okay and it really helps filter out um, huge files that you that you want to kind of cut down now like I said in the last video I'm not gonna go over all the switches and options for this particular command like I said in the last video as well I do encourage you for every command that we learn you do the man space in that respective command and you'll learn all of the different options and um, all of the different switches and options for this particular uh, command so I hope this helps you uh, learn a new command. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any questions about this command, uh, you can also email me, shamancini2010 at gmail.com. And of course, you can visit my website, shamancini.com. Speak with you soon. Thanks.